on this week's episode, round two with the elk jet boat trip. Turn even more broadside and I put one right in the chest. That should dig me. So if you guys watched the last episode you'd seen we came out here to do some elk hunting with the jet boats and we didn't have no luck. We did have the one bull bugle and uh, we found a ton of sign. So we're heading back. She's Wednesday night. We're getting into water. If we're lucky, we'll get in a little bit of a hunt tonight and uh, hopefully we have some action. So stay tuned guys. All right, we're on the water here. Not sure what time it is. Not so nice looking weather up ahead where we gotta go. Just gonna wait for the old engine to warm up a little bit. We'll be on our way. Those that know me know that when September comes around, my days pretty much revolve around elk hunting. I live for this time of year. From the smells of the fall, to the colors of the countryside, to the sound of a distant bugle, I can't get enough. It's not about the kill, it's about the chase, the adventure. All right, she's the morning of our second day. We had a little bit of a grunt from a bull last night. So we're just getting ready to go. Sun's just starting to come up. This series of videos actually began back in August 2021 when we began to realize the river we usually run for elk was going to be too shallow even for our small boats come September. So I began researching other options. I started studying maps, reading game surveys, aerial surveys and any info I could find. We discussed our options and pretty much threw a dart at the map for a starting place and went from there. All right, evening of the second day. And uh, we're gonna try this here new spot. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll get some action tonight and we'll get one down. See how she goes. It is actually pretty easy to walk on. Bitter than that stuff that rolls under your feet. The first episode of this series began on the 2nd of September. Not knowing anything of the area besides what we read or seen on a map, we knew we needed boots on the ground. 
We moved from spot to spot with the jet boats and covered miles on foot, digesting all the sign we could to try and come up with a plan or best spot to hunt. This is how the story unfolds. All right, so we didn't have much action today. You know, we did a bunch of walking and just couldn't find a well. Not much sign. We went way up river. Uh, now we're floating our way back to uh, where we had that bull grunt at us the other night. We should be there tomorrow sometime. And uh, we'll just go from there. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna, we just had to make a quick camp spot here. We were starting to get too dark. And uh, so tomorrow morning, we're just gonna go up top in here and walk around, do some culling and see if we can get some action. Who knows? I mean, it's no worse than any other place. So we're gonna hit the old camper boat and hit the hay. Check it out. There we go. Got the old mini jet turned into a camper. Works pretty darn good. Got a flat base in there and got some sleeping pads. It works pretty darn good. Oh yeah. So about six o'clock this morning, I heard a bull chuckle. We were still, I was actually just rolling over in bed and I heard this bull chuckle. Could have been a few hundred yards from us. Legal shoot light here was about just about um, an hour later, something like that. So we snuck up here, we put the decoy up, and we're hoping that we can maybe sucker them off these hills down into this flat, maybe get a shot. But we've been calling now over half an hour, no answer back, no sight of them or nothing. Stay tuned. Well, that didn't work. Bull never showed up. So I guess we'll be basically heading back to camp. Probably moving in the morning. Try a new spot tomorrow morning. I don't know. Bull must have been moving through. I don't know. See you later. All right, it's the morning of day five. I got a bull. He's calling. He's a long ways off, but he, it seems like he's coming closer. And uh, I'm hoping I can suck him. I'm hoping I can sucker him down to this uh, meadow. He's called a few times now. Hopefully he breaks out of the bush here. 
All right, boys. <clears throat> I just shot one. Had that sucker bugling way down in the, down this hill here and he wouldn't come out to the field. So he kept bugling, so I chased him up, way up in the river hills here, on crown land. I watched him go down, but his head is still moving around. So I just have to give him time. I'm not sure of the shot. I had to kind of shoot through some little bit of brush, uh, but it definitely hit him. Let's see if I can show you guys. Probably not. You can see that tan object in there. That's right where he's laying. I'll check back in later. All right, <laughs> I'm just shaking here. Got the gun on the bipods. Just shortly after I turned the video off, he turned around and turned sideways. He was actually still standing. So I give him one in the neck. And then he turned even more broadside and I put one right in the chest. That should take him out. I'm gonna give him some time and it's gonna be tricky to find him and get back out of here and I gotta let my nerves calm down. <laughs> I think I just got one. There's a cow standing right there. So he actually had two cows that I know of with him. I seen the cow coming through a little opening kind of like what we got here. And then the bull came shortly after and I gave him the wood for. And now this cow is trying to figure out what's going on. I'm sure that bull is down for the count now. This is like the, this is pretty well the opening where I shot through. And Sonny stayed in bed. <laughs> I'm soaking wet. Absolutely soaking wet. Right through. Dude, what a rush. <laughs> I haven't shaken that bad in years. Oh man, that was fun. That was fun playing cat and mouse with him. Whew. I'm gonna show you where I came from. way down there and our boats are just over the edge you can see a field that's cultivated in a field that's brown and we're just over pretty much straight down from the split on that <coughs> look at this an old elk horn and look at this I got my bull Whew. Let's see how can we do this here. <laughs> there we go, guys. I got my bull. <laughs> wow, what a chase and what a pack this is going to be. What an adventure. Holy crap. It is not going to be easy. Not at all. <sighs> now the work starts. At least he's on level ground. And uh, we can start to skinning and packing and all the good stuff that goes with it. But he's down. Whew. All right. We're uh, just go back to him. Getting ready to pack this sucker out. Beauty country.
All right. You know what the day is? September 19th, I think it is. And uh, we got a bull down here. I had to use the bathroom early this morning and it was raining and I wasn't actually gonna go hunting. I was just gonna go do the duty and go back to bed. But I thought, well, while I'm up, I may as well fire a couple calls out and see what happens. And this bull bugled from way down the valley and uh, he just kept coming and coming and coming and he wouldn't break out into the open like I showed you earlier in the video. And then uh, I basically dogged him way up pretty well as high as the river valley is and uh, pretty well lost him. He wasn't calling or talking or nothing anymore. So I let out a bugle once I got, actually was down there and he turned and screamed and he came out and kind of showed himself and I seen a cow run sideways. So I just got ready for him to come through that same opening. And a few seconds later, he comes through the same opening and I give him a nice shot, a couple shots, tumbled off his little ledge there, landed right here. End of story. Now the work begins. Get to pack this bad boy out. It's gonna take a few trips back down to the boats. That's a load. That sucker's heavy. We got a long ways to go yet. Packing the last of it out here. It's a dirty storm coming. We're probably not gonna beat it. But it is what it is. It's not as easy as you think packing out a bull elk. A lot of work, a lot of work, but I'd do it again. Maybe not quite this high up in the hills, but I'd do it again. <laughs> it's all the adventure though, right? This ain't walking on a sidewalk, folks. It's an elk sidewalk. planning a jet boat elk hunt and you're planning to shoot one wherever you can even if it's the top of the hills bring a friend <laughs> make sure you bring a friend because if you're as old as me and as out of shape as me it's gonna kick your butt that's my advice bring a friend bring a friend <laughs> One with a strong back and a weak mind. <laughs> Whew, well, we made her back. And uh, that's heavy. Them hindquarters are heavy made her back it rained on us a bit it's actually raining right now kind of spitting but uh, we're hoping we can load up head down the river 30k or so to our other spot and then hopefully get a hunt on that uh, tomorrow morning tomorrow night and possibly Tuesday morning and uh, hopefully we can get another one hopefully it's not up the top of the river hills but 
hopefully we can get another. there we got her all done back to the trucks we're gonna get ready to hook them up and head back home probably come back out here another couple weeks see if we can get sunny pool if you guys like what you're watching go ahead subscribe share like these videos hit the bell to be notified give me a thumbs up see you guys next Sunday